Hey guys, how you doing? So, um, I will be going to Georgia shortly, and I'm very excited about that. Hopefully I'll post a cool video of awesome things. Anyway, um, so I'd just like to talk to you really quickly about Devourers, because um, they're kind of hard to understand, and unless, until you do, it's um, it can be kind of difficult. So anyway, um... So, what is a devourer, first off? Well, it starts out as a spirit parasite like any other monster. Um, or monster hybrid thingy. Um, the spirit parasite, in this case, the devourer spirit, is something akin to a snake. Um, it's really the best way to describe it. They're powerful, and they kind of just eat everything. Like, if it exists, they will eat it. Um, and the best way to think about what a devourer works like is look up a YouTube video of, like, a python eating a deer or an alligator, okay? Like, it doesn't matter how big it is, they will try and find a way to eat it. Um, and yeah, devourers are really considered to be like snakes, which is why I hate them a lot. Um, <laughs> they're, they're powerful, they're dirty, um, they munch up on everything. They're really, really terrible and terrifying. Um, but there are also many different cultures. There are Nagas in uh, Japan. There are um, Babylonian snake beings. They're basically what they are. Um, in fact, uh, Lilith, um, queen of demon of kind and mother of all the uh, infernal, um, she has snake-like aspects to her, and it's believed that she actually conceived the entire race of uh, devourer spirit parasites. But anyway, um, so yeah. But this is also why um, the only decent way to kill a devourer is to remove the head. Um, much like the only way you can really kill a snake is by cutting off the head. And same thing. Um, now, devourers don't have a lot of incredible powers. Like, they don't, you know, have the ability to teleport or, you know, mind read, although they can to certain extents. Like, they have basic psychic abilities that most monsters have. But where their real strength lies is their rage and their basic immunity to anything. Um, if they're coming after you, they won't stop, and they will eat you. So, you know, do what you gotta do. Um, they're kind of hard to locate. Or, I'm sorry, not locate. They're kind of hard to uh, um, weed out from the rest of the crowd. But there are telltale signs. Um, generally speaking, devourers can distend their jaws um, slightly so they look like bigger, like. Um, they get. When they uh, show their um, monster form, their eyes become like yellow and uh, slit like, sort of like a snake, and then they kind of get this like scale like pattern um, around their eyes and their nose. And generally speaking, they look more snake like. Um, before that, though, um, hurting a naga, obviously, or hurting a, a devourer, will cause it to, uh, you know, freak out. Um, Generally speaking, if you hit it with iron, or not iron, if you hit it with silver, it'll react. But um, the best way is literally to pray, <laughs> um, because they're really, really difficult to figure out. Um, they don't like silver too much. They don't like salt either, but eh, that's tough. Um, they don't like certain herbs like hyssop and wormwood, so if you, you know, get those on them, they'll get kind of pissed off. But yeah, um, I don't like devourers at all. If it were my choice, I would smite every one of those bastards. Anyway, alright guys, I will see you in Georgia. So, alrighty, good night and God bless, and happy hunting.